this is pretty cool. I hit two foundations. honey well I'm back from Florida uh, and uh, time to take care of my own a little apiary and uh, do a little you know checking on my bees and uh, you know doing what I have to do uh, I've had to do a little weed whacking because the weeds were extremely tall out here as you can see they really grew up really really tall so I had to do some weed whacking so the bees could get access um, you know a lot of a lot of times our personal schedule gets in the way of doing what we really want to do and this year what I really wanted to do was graft and um, make my own queens and whatnot but with the new job the new work schedule uh, not knowing from day to day when I'm gonna be working working at night that kind of stuff um, I have to opt for an easier option so today what I'm gonna do is uh, I was in here yesterday and uh, had some extremely powerful uh, hives from the packages uh, right behind me I got uh, I've got three deeps on the nukes, and they're all full. Uh, queen's really laying well. And what I'm going to do is uh, I actually already removed two frames and put them into some weaker hives um, And uh, yesterday. But today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some walkaway splits. Uh, I already did one at the home apiary, brought it over here to the farm, and uh, I'm going to take a couple of frames from these nukes over here and uh, place them in uh, with some young brood and eggs and one frame of young brood and eggs per two frame mate, mini mating nuke. Uh, let's not stop calling it mini mating nuke. Two frame mating nukes. Uh, they're two deep uh, frame mating nukes. And then we're going to go over in the other end over here and I'll show you how I uh, kind of set up my little uh, um, mating yard I guess as it were. It's just off to the side of this apiary there's another apiary or uh not an, uh, yeah i guess it's a yard from a commercial beekeeper about oh half mile down the road they've got about 40 to 60 hives out there and uh so i got plenty of drones to choose from out here so that's pretty good but um so um follow along and uh i like i said i, I forgot my selfie stick so this is gonna be kind of hard to one hand this but uh, uh hope you get the gist of it okay so here's my uh Two mating nukes uh i've already set up the other one it's just got a foundationless frame in there uh with some fishing line uh that they can draw out and the other one um actually is not going to stay in there because this is just going i'm going to use these frames right here as replacements for uh what i take out of these uh these five over five over five nukes actually those two are five over five over five those that one is a four over four over four um and the one next to it is a four over four. Uh, the one on the left is a Saskatraz. That was a split that I did and added a mated queen to it. And it was a little weaker, so I actually took a frame out of, I can't remember which one it was, uh, of brood, cap brood, and I stuck it in that just to boost, give it a boost. Um, so that should push that, that nuke right along. Um, so let's get started here. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is, uh, is suit up and then... Um, you're and then good. we'll get going. Okay, no problem. So that was pretty wild. Mm -hmm. The first hive had all cap brood or nothing at all. No swarm cells though. This is pretty cool. I had two foundationless side by side and they didn't draw it out kitty wampus. But I'll tell you, I'll show you something that, that's really weird. Check that out. Almost like something tore, tore right in the middle, but 
it's almost like they don't like this uh, big conglomerate of, uh, of fishing line right in the middle. Very, very, very odd. But I have uh, three frames of no foundation right in a row. And uh, it's not like, you know, the other frames have some sort of magic uh, spot on them, you know, that tore it out. But it's just, uh, just a bare spot right in the middle. Look at that. Isn't that strange? Okay. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I just can't win. I can't find a... That's three frames of cat brood, and I can't find any with just eggs in it. It's just horrible. Here we go. Beautiful. This is the frame I'm looking for right here. It's got some cat brood, but it's got eggs, honey, larvae, decent amount of bees. Just making sure that the queen is not on here before I transfer it over. Mostly nurse bees, I'm going to guess. I don't see the queen. Okay, we're going to take this one. That's one frame. And then I'm going to shake some shake of some bees out in it. Hopefully you can see this here. Well, I don't see the queen, so. take this foundationless frame right here and stick it in that empty slot and let them go to town okay and just so you know that's what these those these nukes are for these are resource hives this is for uh, These are for pulling frames of brood or, or bees or whatever I need to boost other colonies or make splits or mating mini nukes or whatever I need. Okay, I got that one done. Okay. Let's see this 4 over 4 nuke here. 4 over 4 over 4 actually. I think I stole some out of here yesterday, but it was a pretty good nuke, if I remember right. Oh. 
I don't want to over smoke them because the frames that I want, I want to have brood on it. I want to have uh, nurse bees to stay. And I don't think, I think I, this is the one I replaced it with yesterday, so that, this isn't going to have anything in it. Let's try this one. I don't like that thing. Well, there's a there's a nice frame, but unfortunately it's just got honey or cat brood on that side. Same thing on this side. Actually, you can see that all cat brood on this side, so we'll leave that one in there. And I'm going to pop this off here. Okay, now this colony is a lot calmer than the first one. So was the second colony. I don't know why, but they were a lot calmer. Didn't get stung on either, any of them, but the first colony was really, really crazy. I don't see any eggs in that one. Matter of fact, I don't see anything in that one. I think this is a frame I'm going to take. Okay. I think this is a frame I'm going to take. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got a lot of, a lot of brood of all ages down to eggs. Very, very, very good frame for uh, making a, a walk away on. They can choose from what they want and then it's got a lot of cat brood which means that bees will be hatching out to assist and again a lot of uh, brood to choose from to create their own queen. So that's what we're going to go with. Just making sure that the queen is not on here and uh, she does not appear to be so we're going to take this frame, okay? And we'll pull this frame out, put it in its place. And we're going to shake some bees off too. So I'm going to take this frame here, do a quick scan. All that's on here is nectar. I'm going to do this quick scan for uh, the queen. And we're going to shake these bees off in that uh, mating nook. There we go. Good. Good. 
and that'll be all we need. Alrighty. There we go. That's locked down. And that's locked down. Whoop. Okay. Alrighty. Now uh, I'll shut it off and we'll go over to the uh, to the mating yard and uh, and we'll set these up. Okay, so here's uh, my ma mating nukes, two frame mating nukes set up uh, right here at the edge of a, oh, sort of a field road and it's got a hay field in front of it. It's about, I don't know, 75 yards from my other apiary, but uh, uh, far enough away. Uh, some sweet clover. Yellow sweet clover, I think, growing behind it here. Plenty of food for them growing back here. Really, really nice. And uh, we're just gonna kinda, and, and in case you guys don't didn't miss my other video, this is my two frame mini nuke. Uh, and it's got the, the hinged uh, opening so you can transport it. But there's also a vent down the bottom so that the bees will vent while during transport. Uh, it's got a little nail here. Uh, to hold the uh, the entrance closed during transport and then uh, you open her up and, and pretty soon the bees will figure it out there's one right there first customer is at the door so there we go there's that one this was the was this is the new <coughs> the mating nuke I brought from my home apiary. Uh, they're already out doing their thing, and then this is the one I just did. Another one I just did here, and uh, I dug a set one up for uh, to be determined at a later date. Probably have oh I'll probably have. 20 spots out here when it's all said and done someday um, right now this is all I'm doing uh, for the resources that I have I didn't want to steal too many maybe next week uh, they'll build up again and uh, and I'll set up an, another few another few mating nukes and uh, there's my golden sitting there wrestling with a stick he found in the water a little pond right behind them so they got water right there kind of nice what do you think breeze farmer's gonna be pissed off at you you put sticks in his field now I have to go and get it out of here Right? Okay. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, Breeze. There you go. All right, guys. Let's see here if I can see, show you. Uh, they were working it earlier. They're not right now, and for whatever reason. Bees were all over it just a little while ago. This sweet clover. So, until next time, happy beekeeping. Jeez. So, you're probably wondering about this. Uh, 
I sort of forgot about it a little bit, and this is kind of important, is to uh, give them a little bit of uh, sugar water. So I gave them a quart jar of two to one sugar water, uh, help them build out comb, keep them busy. They don't have a lot of foragers, and uh, and uh, so the nurse bees can come up and, and take the sugar water as needed. Uh, like I said, I comprised all these mating nukes from uh, nurse bees, so uh, foragers really aren't uh, out there to help them out. So, um, really crazy. This hive's kind of going a little nuts. Uh, I, uh, I'm standing here and I just realized I had uh, lemongrass oil in my pocket, and I think I got some on the on my uh, jacket and uh, boy I'm being followed like you wouldn't believe so I'm gonna get out of here so there we go all right one of the last okay. things I did was uh, I set the swarm trap up uh, just a few seconds ago and uh, <laughs> look at that. I already I put some lemongrass I already got bees checking I got I got three bees scout bees already checking it they're flying around here there's one right there. There was two more flying around. We'll see how there, there it is right there. There he is right there. So I find that pretty cool. There's two or three more. Maybe we'll get a swarm out of this. Huh? Oh, I see a well, costly mistake there. A little bit of air gap there we don't want that I'm gonna close that off as best we can there we go I think I'm gonna put a rock on that there's a couple of bees right there look at that unbelievable I mean I literally just hung this up what 45 seconds ago that's nuts I'm going to go find a rock to put on this lid. Okay, take care.